YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Crypto J coming at you guys with yet another J Talks Crypto. If you're brand new to my channel, hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. I do my best each and every day to give you guys the top picks in cryptocurrency. And guys, nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. Guys, I want to give you a real quick price update on TurboCoin. But first, we have to talk about Bitcoin, guys. I just talked about it in my last video. The fact that we could see a little bit of sell-off into this weekend, right? But how much sell-off are we going to see? I know we're seeing a little bit of red today. And I know a lot of people are wondering uh, how much red can we see? And guys... I just want to show you guys a couple things in the chart. Again, it's nothing new. If you were subscribed to the channel, you would have caught this yesterday because we just talked about it yesterday. Um, but as you can see, this pattern right here looking a little bit similar to this pattern right here, right? We just created a similar thing where we touched this uh, top. We saw this drop down. So uh, maybe this will drop down. It's, again, still drop down to create a lower high so um that is still bullish this is what we want we want to create lower highs on bitcoin that's a good sign that we are starting to round out and create a recovery so um the, if we do see a little bit of price capitulation hopefully we'll still um hold support on some of these levels down here um and as you could see also on the one year chart we're looking pretty good too so Bitcoin is not looking too bad. It's looking like we're starting to round out like we talked about. Um, also, on the all-time chart, we've been talking about this giant bull flag that is forming, right? Also, this cup and handle pattern that is forming. So there's a lot of indicators that uh, we are going to see some highs for the crypto market in general. Um, so I do feel like even though we're seeing a little bit of volatility today, even though we might see even again, this thing drop down and create some lower highs, um, even that could, that could mean like 20, 30% uh, dip on some of your favorite altcoins. But you know what guys, this is still a zone of accumulation right now. I feel like we're still extremely early. Again, I'm not telling you to go out and spend all your money in cryptocurrency. I'll exact. I'll tell you actually the exact opposite. It's not a good idea to over leverage into cryptocurrency. It's highly volatile. Um, also, I'm not a financial advisor, so I have no like weight in this. Um, but as you can see right here, um, we're looking pretty good on Bitcoin. So, uh, and again, this bull flag looking pretty good on Bitcoin as well. So I do expect a uh, possible uh, capitulation into um, the end of this month, maybe even like maybe we see a little bit of more like maybe another retest of like this 60K even. Um, but hopefully we can continue, you know, hopefully we don't drop below 60K. Hopefully, I mean, I do think that there's a good chance that we revisit it, but hopefully we don't drop below it. There's always a chance that we don't revisit it, right? There's a, because if you look here too on a, oh man, I just had it up. This one month chart. Look, what do we also have here? We have a cup and handle playing out. This is a bullish play right here. So this is an indicator that we could see some significant upside if this does decide it wants to start trending up. So um, again, we talked about the fact that that 64K range is very critical, uh, We, but we did drop off of like, what, 63? We jumped all the way to 63, and then we started dropping down. So um, hopefully, hopefully we can start finding some uh, support on Bitcoin and start seeing some big bull rally. And again, I know this is a triple coin video. We're going to get into triple coin, guys. Don't worry. I just want to show you this fear greed index, though, is ticking up. Again, we were at a 50 yesterday. We're at a 51 today. Uh, the crypto market is down, but we're starting to see a lot more volume, a lot more shorts, a lot more longs, and a lot more uh, institutions and stuff like that picking up these coins. All right, now we're getting into Turbo Coin, guys, without further ado, because I know you guys came here for Turbo. You want to see what's going on, as you guys can see. Turbo Coin starting to capitulate with Bitcoin right now. Not looking too bad still, though, still creating um some higher lows on turbo coin on the one hour chart so um the two hour chart also looking a little, a little funky looking like mm, okay maybe one two hours starting to look like we're breaking down a little bit but not too concerned not too concerned because if you look a little more macro four hour looking like we ha we're still in an uptrend right uh and then if you're looking on our 12 hour too what we got going on the 12 hour right we we had a cup and handle playing out but it looks like we do have some a little more support down here. 
we also um, have still our cup and handle playing out, right? Because if we look even at our, uh, first of all, you look at our three day, three days, super nice, right? Cup and handle still playing out right here. Um, but it's, it does look like it could be volatile, right? So hopefully turbo coin can continue, um, having this volume that it's had. Um, I feel good about it. Definitely. If you look at the one at the, uh, weekly chart, it just looks like we're, we've already touched look at this look at the rsi right this is the rsi this is what i talked about the fact that we were creating this bull flag with uh turbo coin as well uh we the fact that we were already breaking out this looks this looks like a clear breakout on the one week chart again rsi looking super awesome this is a great looking chart in my opinion this is a awesome looking chart the only time i would be concerned about this is if it wanted to uh reject off of some of these upper zones up here then i would think okay possible shoulder head shoulder Maybe this thing can see some downside, but right now, all in all, um, the way that it's looking on this turbo coin chart, in my opinion, this is bullish. This is a, this is a bullish. So, um, but again, things are always dependent. I feel on Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin does decide that it wants to drop down and retest those 60 K ranges, what's that going to mean for a coin like turbo coin, um, is turbo going to see some significant sell off? We'll see, um, how much sell off can it really even see? um i guess we will find out um but what do you guys think what's your price predictions for turbo i definitely want to know let me know in the comments below um how much turbo you guys are holding um again this is the turbo chart right here as you guys can see 38 uh 385 million market cap with a 38,000 holders so a lot of big price action also we talked about this top holder count guys 60 percent of the supply belongs to these guys and um who are these guys these guys are some of the biggest exchanges in cryptocurrency so again they're buying uh these meme coins right now um you know there's a reason why they're buying these meme coins right now i feel like they're buying these meme coins right now because they feel like we are going to see this uh super cycle again look at the fear greed index we talked about it. It's ticking up still, right? I was talking about the fact that we, we were in this orange. I like this zone right here. This that we, fact we were really oversold right here. This was really a great time to be dollar cost averaging. We've been talking about it on the channel, guys, for like the past month. Like not even from the past month, guys. Like literally almost called perfectly the top in March. I, I thought it was 71, shot up to 74. We were way overbought on the RSI. I already knew that was going to happen. I told you the sell-off was going to take time, right? Way up here. I was telling you guys, we were. This is this was looking like the top. Too much greed up here. It was like 91 up here. I remember this. It was like 91. We dropped down. We were getting to some levels, and people were thinking, oh, 66, 60. This is going to be like the, the end of it. I'm like, no, guys. This is not how a correction feels. It's going to be painful, right? A lot of altcoins bleeding. Some things not recovering. It's just been carnage right and now you know we've entered into really good accumulation zone in my opinion i feel like we're gonna start seeing this thing start ripping up but what we want to be careful of and what we want to make sure is that you know look what happened over here right you see how we touched this orange over here we jumped up touched this yellow and then we had this little drop temporarily where we dropped touched this orange a little bit of fear people were thinking we we're gonna go down for a long time and we shot up like crazy that is what can possibly happen here, but I don't really think that that will happen. It can possibly happen. Um, but again, if that happens, that would set us back a little bit of time. And I feel like things are aligned right now uh, for November. You know, next month is November. We just had our interest rates go down. So there's a lot of bullish activity in the market. I don't see this happening again, but maybe you know it would have to be some real black swan event i feel like to send the markets back down but i feel like right now we are in the midst of a recovery guys i'm saying that to say that we, i feel like we're in the midst of recovery what do you guys think though let me know again i'm not a financial advisor not a professional so um yeah but again guys um also i kind of breezed over it but if you want to join that telegram group guys i have a private telegram group if you want to trade with your boy crypto j all you got to do is share this video over on twitter at me at j talks crypto i'm going to pick 100 people out of that come trade with your boy crypto j and i will catch you guys in the next video peace